Hi y'all, this is Mrs. D, and today we're gonna to talk about absolute value and additive inverse. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, before we move on to the actual lesson going over absolute value, let's talk about identifying opposites. So we have positive numbers and negative numbers. Positive numbers are greater than zero. So on a number line, in this case, the positive numbers are blue. Negative numbers are less than zero. Uh, the number zero is neither negative or positive, it's just in the middle. So everything that is to the right of zero is positive, everything to the left of zero on a number line is negative. Opposites are a positive and a negative number that are the same distance from zero. So if I look here at my number line, if I look at the number negative two, the other side of zero is a positive two. Okay, I have two places to get to zero, and then I have two more places to the other side. So that means that two and negative two are opposites. So if I have the number negative five, the opposite of negative five is the same distance from zero on the other side. So that would be a positive five. And then the opposite of 135, even though it's not on this number line, is going to be the same distance on the other side of zero, which is a negative 135. So opposites are very easy to identify. It's just gonna be the positive or the negative of that same number value. Now, a positive and a negative that are the same value, if I were to add them together, then they're going to end up with zero as the, as the answer. So anytime I have a positive and a negative opposite number, their sum is zero. So along with talking about opposites, we need to know how to use an additive inverse. An inverse means opposite, so additive inverse means adding the opposite. So let's look at our number line one more time. And I'm gonna have a point at four. So the opposite of four is going to be a negative four. Okay, those are opposites because zero is directly in the middle. But let's talk about the additive inverse. So here I have four minus five. What the additive inverse is saying is that I can add the opposite and I'm still gonna get the same answer. So let's look at what that means. I'm gonna take my four, which is my first number, and then I'm going to change my minus sign to a plus, I'm gonna add, and then I'm gonna do the opposite of five, which is a negative five. So really all an additive inverse is saying is that four minus five and four plus a negative five mean the same thing. So four minus five means if I start at four and I take away five, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, I end up at negative one. Same thing here, if I start at the four and I take away five, I'm gonna end up at the same place. It's the same situation. The other thing you can do is use your sign rules and because four and negative five are opposite signs, they have different signs, so I'm gonna subtract and find the difference. Then I'm gonna keep the sign of the higher valued number, which is a negative. Let's look at one that's a little bit more complicated. So here's one that's a little more complicated. We have eight minus a negative three. Well, in this case, we have to do our additive inverse because you can't subtract a negative. So we're gonna bring down our eight we're gonna change our minus to a plus, and we're gonna do the opposite of negative three, which is positive three. So really, in this situation, when I have minus a negative, it's gonna to turn to a positive. So now I'm just adding eight plus three, same sign, so I'm gonna add, and my answer is gonna end up being a positive 11. Okay, now we're gonna use this information to understand absolute value. So absolute value means the distance that a number is from zero on the number line. So it doesn't matter if it's positive or negative. All we're measuring is the actual distance. So if I take the number one, for instance, a one is one place from zero. The distance from zero is one. Negative one is also one place from zero. So that means that the absolute value of one and negative one 
is just the number one because that's the, how far it is from zero. You kind of have to think about absolute value as distance. So if you're going five miles across town, you're gonna drive to the store five miles and then you're gonna turn around and drive back. You don't drive backwards. So negative numbers are not existent when it's talking about an absolute value. It's not necessarily a positive, but it's not a negative. It's just a number representing that distance. Let's go ahead and go through a couple of examples, but first I wanna point out one thing to you. So in this example, we're talking about the absolute value of the number five. Absolute value is represented by these bars before and after the number. So anytime there's a number in between two bars, upright bars just like this, that is considered the absolute value sign. So the absolute value of five wants to know how far is the number five over here from zero. Well, that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five places. So that means that the absolute value of five is five. Well, what about the absolute value of negative five? Well, negative five is one, two, three, four, five places from zero. So the absolute value of negative five is five. Now these concepts are pretty simple. That really is all there is to it. And so whenever you're identifying absolute value, you just want to remember that it's just talking about the distance that that number is from zero. So your answer to absolute value will never have a negative sign. And just so you also know, once you find the absolute value of the number, then you're not going to put the bars on your answer. So the absolute value of five is just five. You don't have the bars around it anymore. I hope that this helped you out with understanding opposites and absolute value. If you still need more help, you can watch this video a couple of times. Otherwise, be ready to ask some specific questions and we'll make sure that you understand the concept. This is Mrs. D signing off. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.